The next test is the TORT test. So this test is uh, for the ligaments and cap capsule or ligament and joint capsule of the hip joint. Um, so if you want to test the uh, laxity of the ligaments uh, around the hip joint or the joint capsule, the best way is to give a distractive force uh, along the femur and the acetabulum. Um, so it's also very important that only when there is a medial, when, when you do a medial rotation of the femur, then the ligaments and capsule are in line with uh, the neck of femur and the head of femur. So when you distract with the medially rotated hip, then it's, it, it gives a bit better results. So moreover, whenever you do this test, you need to hold for about say, 20 seconds whenever you apply a distraction force. The reason for 20 seconds is because of the time dependent property of the collagen fiber. Um, so the time dependent property is that, so whenever you start uh, stretching a collagen fiber, so first few seconds it has to have, uh, uh, it takes little time and as the time passes on, then the ligament gives away or the laxity of the ligament is, can be tested easily. So that's the reason why we have to give 20 uh, seconds at least. So for this test, the patient is uh, allowed to be in supine, near to the edge of the couch. Then you slightly uplift the leg, do a medial rotation with one hand. Then with the other hand, try and push the femur posteriorly and uh, outwards. So you try and push the femur posteriorly, holding this side of the leg. So you can find that there is a distraction force on the um, head of uh, femur. So this will cause, you hold it for 20 seconds and this will check the instability. If there is any instability, you will have an increased movement of the femur, femoral head. And the test is positive if the symptoms are precipitated. So what are the patient uh, complaints of? So if there is a precipitation of symptom, then there is a possibility of the test being positive.